So there's no use in trying to fix this hair. Hey everyone, um, I hope that this video is finding you well. It is Thursday night, it is around nine o'clock, and I am in New Jersey for work, and it's actually a retreat that I'm at um, all this weekend. And I gotta say, they did good with the rooms. If you are following me on Instagram, you probably already saw it, but I'm gonna give you a quick room tour, and I'm gonna vlog all this weekend. I'm gonna go on some hikes, um, when I'm not in session and all kinds of things, but I'm gonna show you what this room looks like. We are staying at the Grand Cas Cascade Lodge in New Jersey. So I'll show you my room. So when you walk into my room, the first thing you'll see is the kitchen, and I'm having a little wine tonight. And then, oh, 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 I can't forget this. I have a legit washer and dryer. That's my North Face coat. Best coat on the planet. Then once you walk in, there's like a little dining room table that you can pull out for more space. Then over here, a desk, some Louis Vuitton action happening there. Then you walk in and I have this really great living room with a grandfather clock and a fireplace. But I have a little balcony. It's like a table and it overlooks everything. Let's close that back up. Then my bedroom is over here and it's a really big bed. I was laying in it so it looks messier. It was way prettier when I first got here. And then lastly is the bathroom. And you are going to see a hideous mess of towels because if you are following me on Instagram, you know that I overdid the bubbles. And this is what it looks like after I cleaned up. So, literally, it was a scene from a movie. Do you know when they put too much detergent in, like, the washer machine or the dishwasher and, like, the bubbles overflow? They were literally going everywhere to the point where I was like, oh, I don't know how to fix this. And it was just a mess. <laughs> and then when I got out of the bathtub, I, like, couldn't get dried off because I had, like, bubbles everywhere. Um, it was quite a disaster. But um, I am just right now, uh, I was on my laptop, and answering all of your amazing comments of the Plan With Me video that I posted today. Um, the feedback has been amazing. It already has like 500 views. It's been up for three hours. Um, it's super exciting. The subscriber count is growing so rapidly. So tonight when I got here, I went ahead and ordered the 2,000 subscriber gift um, that I want to give back to all of you. I think you're going to really like it. <laughs> um, so that will be coming up, I think, pretty soon. Once we hit 2,000, there'll be another gift for someone. Um, and I'm trying to get creative on how I can give a lot more back because I'm just so grateful for everyone. Anyway, I'm going to sign off for tonight, but I'm going to keep this vlog going um, throughout the weekend. And I'm here tomorrow and Saturday and then heading back either Saturday night or Sunday morning, I haven't decided. So, um, yeah, tomorrow we're going on a hike in the morning. I can't wait to see what that's like. But, um, all right, so I will talk to you soon, and good night. Good morning, everyone. It is Friday morning, and it is about 5.15 in the morning. Um, I can never sleep in. Um, I'm always up pretty early because that is what my bodily clock does to me now. Um, <laughs> But uh, <laughs> it's either my bodily clock or Steven snoring that doesn't allow me to sleep in. Um, I just made a cup of coffee and it appears like the Northeast is supposed to get hit with some snow. So uh, that's amazing. Can't wait for that. And then I also just turned on my fireplace and I'm going to watch some CNN to see what's going on in the world and then I'm going to meditate. And then I still wanna go outside for a hike, so we'll see what happens. Now that I have some coffee, I'm going to answer all the comments um, on my most recent YouTube video, as well as just comments in general, because you guys know that my favorite thing to do is to answer every single comment. Um, I don't care how big the channel gets, I'm gonna work tirelessly to continue that, um, because I think that's how we build a community. Um, 
So, yeah. I'm about to sit down and answer everyone's comment. And if I don't respond to a comment, it's simply because it hasn't popped up in my feed. Once in a while, I'll scroll through on my creator page and see that some comments haven't showed up. So once in a while, it'll be like a month until I comment, and that's just because it never popped up. Um, but keep leaving them because I love them. And follow me on Instagram because we have a lot of fun and have a lot of conversations over there as well. I will leave my handle somewhere right about here. Um, and yeah. All right. Time for some news, time for some coffee, and to answer your comments. So, let's get going. So, uh, it is now like 6.35 in the morning, and the hike is definitely not happening today. So, there is a snowstorm coming through, and it is 18 degrees outside. And I did bring warm clothes, but I did not bring gloves and a scarf um, to where I'd be comfortable to hike. And I didn't bring proper shoes for snow. So what I am thinking I end up doing is the following. Watch some more TV till 7. Then do my meditation. Do a workout here in my hotel room. The reason is there is a beautiful gym here. Um, and I would go to that in any other circumstance. But I forgot my headphones. And I need my own music to work out really weird about music and working out so um i'd probably do my own workout here and i'd more than happy to share that with you and maybe videotape it to show you what i would do and then order breakfast and then shower watch some more tv and then finally head down to the first meeting so i am in my workout clothes um but first before i work out i'm going to meditate so, um, yeah, and I decided to set up my meditation right here in my room, right in front of some really great natural light. I have a pillow to sit on, and I'm ready to go. So I just finished meditating, and I feel amazing. If you are trying to get into meditating, I highly recommend Mindspo. It makes it really accessible, and I'm really enjoying it. But now it's time to get my workout in. And like I said, I forgot my headphones, so... I need my own music. I already have it going. Um, so I am doing my typical hotel room workout, which you guys know I travel a lot for work, so this is one I go to all the time. And it's called 10-10-10. Full body workout, 10 squats, 10 push-ups, 10 sit-ups. And you do it 10 times. I always just take hotel paper and make cards one through 10 because I can't keep track of counting. So as I finish a round, I just move the cart over and then I save these for as many days as I'm gonna be there. Um, so I'm gonna get my workout in. Let's get going. <laughs> just finished the workout. I am a sweaty mess and I'm out of breath, but it was so good. Gets your whole body worked out. Doesn't take a lot of time. Doesn't take any equipment. And you'll feel great afterwards. I promise. I promise, 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 promise. All right, get some water. And then order some breakfast. So, um, oh my gosh, I'm still a sweaty mess. So my breakfast just arrived and I'm going to dig in. I got myself some, an egg white omelet with lots of veggies in it and then some dry toast. I will not be eating those potatoes, some coffee, orange juice, and a banana. So, time for some breakfast, time to watch the news, and I still have so much time before my first meeting. Don't know what I'll do. So, um, I finished up breakfast, and now I'm gonna take a shower because I'm still gross from my workout. And I actually brought with me, because I drove here to this time. Did you hear that? I just dropped my La Source oil. Oh my goodness. I literally just dropped my La Source oil and it broke. Oh. I'm so irritated. And sad. So, I will not be moisturizing with the 
oil, but I do have the soft scrub with fine pumice and my shower gel. I am blessed, whether my oil broke or not. session just ended for the day. It is 5.03. I am in my pajamas only because um, I don't have to be anywhere again until 7. We're having like a dinner in some biosphere um, so I just want to be comfortable for the next two hours and unwind and relax and I'm having a glass of wine and um, yeah it's been a really good day. It was an awesome session. Um, and I got to see a lot of people I don't get to see all the time, so that was great. And I have the fireplace going, it's still snowy outside, and I'm just going to relax. I thought it would take like a minute or two to actually talk about um, my weight loss journey and just to fill you guys in on that because um, part of my channel I want to segue into like my meal prep. Um, the way I cook, the exercises that I do and stuff like that. And I think it's important to know the journey I've been on. So I've lost around 130 pounds so far. I'm going to insert a picture um, right here. So that is where my journey began. And I've been working really hard for several years now. And I can tell you losing the weight's the easiest part. It's once you get to a point that maintaining is actually the hardest. And right now I'm probably at the part where like I've gone a little off track and I'm working really hard to get back on um, because I'm comfortable, like I feel most comfortable and most confident 15 pounds less than what I weigh right now currently. Um, so I'm trying to get back to where I have kind of been able to stay for quite some time but like the stress of work and all the traveling I've been doing over the last year has really definitely paid a toll on the amount of workouts I do and what I'm eating and all of that kind of stuff. So I'm trying to get back on track. When I think about this journey and I think about this channel, the first line was take care of yourself. And I think for many years being closeted or not feeling confident, um, myself was never a priority. I didn't think I was worth it. I didn't love myself enough. And I think about seven, eight years ago, I realized that I am worth it. And that in order to be better for people, which is like my passion in life, is just to give to others and be better for others and to help others, the only way you can actually truly do it is to take care of yourself. And that's really where the slogan for this whole channel came from. Take care of yourself is first because you have to do that. Then that makes you better to take care of others and you do that through being kind. I also find when you're not taking care of yourself and you're taking care of others, you will hit a point where you resent it. And I think taking care of yourself is multiple things. I think it's doing the things you love. I think it's being cognizant of what you put in your body. I think it's working out. I think it's being truthful with yourself. I think it's about self-love. And I think that's one of the hardest things to learn and managing that voice in your head. If I could say one thing to you, it would be this. At the end of your life, it is far less important about what others will say when you're gone. And I think it's way more important to think about what are the things you'll say to yourself in those last moments. And for me, the things I want to be saying to myself are, you did a really good job. And you lived fearlessly and genuinely did good for yourself and because of that you did better things for others selflessly 
um, without ever feeling bitter or resentful about giving them time because you gave yourself time. And I think it would be really scary to get to the end of the road and be like, I did this for others, I did this for others, but I still think of myself as like lousy or not worth it or not confident. All the great things you say about other people are the things you have to say to yourself. And I find that over the last couple years, the more I say it, the more I believe it, and the more I believe it, the more I take care of myself. And the more I take care of myself, the better I am for other people. And the more I want to give to other people. And I want to give to people in a way that is really genuine and really authentic and really true to who I am. So I'm going to end this vlog here and I will end it with take care of yourself, take care of others and be kind. Mm -hmm. Those three things will make a hell of a difference.